Hey from DMJ Reptiles. Just showing you what I got from the reptile show today. So, we'll start with the crested geckos. This isn't what they're staying in, obviously. They're just in here. Woo! This little guy oh, is a little crazy, so I'm going to hold him a little bit. Full pinstripe male. He's oh. got a frog butt, and he's crazy. But he's young. He'll be ready for next year to do some breeding. We'll build up a colony for him. Oh. All right, so obviously I can't let you go. No, you're not biting me. Yeah, it ain't happening. I'll hold you by your snout. <clears throat> so a nice, nice red. It's partial pinstripe. He's got that really nice crown head. Well, people are saying to form a ravioli head. But the camera's not really giving justice. It is just super, super red. But good looking, good looking girl. I think she's a little too small to breed. So we'll let her grow out for next year. But I really like her. We'll move on to a less active animal. Right here. This is what I've been searching for. I've been searching for a ghost banana. And this girl right here, she is a, uh, a pastel banana orange ghost. That's not a hat. Um, <clears throat> she looks like she's in shed, almost. She's gorgeous. I mean, not she, he, he, I'm sorry, he. He's gorgeous. Um, I got a female clown that is, uh, it's going to be his girlfriend and a lot of other snakes. I'm going to breed this to quite a few snakes. Um, the reason why the clown is I need to create more, um, <clears throat> I need to create more double hats, clown ghosts, for my, uh, double head project. Right now all I have is two females. If I breed this to the clown, all the babies will be het clown, het orange ghost. But now you throw in the banana, you throw in that banana gene and the pastel so 50% will be banana 50% will be pastel not half and half but meaning as <clears throat> they'll, both, they'll all be double het ghost clown orange ghost clown and with the numbers wise and the formula it'll be 25% will be banana 25% will be banana pastel 25% will be pastel and 25% will be normal and all of them will be double heads. But the cool thing about the bananas are I'm guessing that this is was created by a male banana, not a female. So the, it's a male maker. So all the bananas will be male and all the non-bananas will be female. So I'll be producing orange ghost clown normals het normals and I'll be producing pastel het orange clown ghost and then I can put that into my clown project so it's a win-win and then the other win is a double head banana clown a double head uh, if I if I hit big and I get the pastel banana 
double head clown ghost on a male. I mean, that would definitely be a hold back. Not going anywhere because I would add that to my uh, to my breeding. So that my two males would be one of them and uh, my super pastel Mojave double head clown ghost. So as I was talking about this, the numbers, numbers are just a formula. So that formula is, we're talking millions. Um, if it's 25% banana pastel, 25% um, banana, 25% pastel, 25% normal, that's just that's just an equation. Um, you're not gonna, you're not guaranteed that. I um, I did a clutch banana to pastel, and I only got I didn't get one banana. So it really luckily draw, but that's just that's just the way they break it down with genetics. Um, in all actuality, it's really uh, luckily draw. Um, they will all be double double head ghost clown now. They all will because one of the parents is a ghost and one of the parents is a clown. I've been looking for this guy. I got a, got a great price on him. Ended up saving over a hundred bucks on uh, on it. If I would have bought it, uh, I was looking at a male and it was just a ghost banana. I didn't have the pastel. This one's Orange Ghost. Orange Ghost has a little bit more value than a Ghost. And then you add the pastel, and you know, I was going to pay $410 for one that's on Morph Market. That was a uh, just a regular banana Ghost. Um, the blushing is crazy. The blushing is like a super pastel. So, that's... Uh, that's my second grab. Well, third grab. I know this isn't going to be as big. He's going to get newspaper and water and all that good stuff. We're just getting him situated. Now here's the other bin. I'm starting something new. Um, I talk about DMJ reptiles. I'm trying to expand. I plan on moving. I'm going to end up moving to Virginia and uh, really expanding the business. So I got racks with holes in them. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I get some leopard geckos? So, I got some leopards. They are cool. So, this one right here is the male. The rest are females. They're all proven. They're all going to live together. I'm going to put them in a 28 quart. Um, this is just starting the project. But they're cool animals. I've never, I actually, I had a, I didn't have a leopard gecko. I had a friend that had one, and it was, it didn't like me. I remember it lock biting me. But um, I'm excited. They all eat dubia, and if any of you guys watch my page, you'll know. I got tons of dubia. Um, from what I understand, I don't know much about them. But they're all het tremper, or they're, 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 no, no, they're all het sunset. They're tremper het sunsets. Um, whatever that means, I don't know. If you know, um, if you can let me know, how about we'll go with this. We'll call, we'll call this one number one. If you know what this is, this is number one. If you can tell me what you think it is. We'll call this one number two. Call this one number eight. Alright, you see it? We'll call that one number two. Call this one 80. No, we only have four. We can't call 80. Oh! <laughs> we'll call this one number three. Alright. Call that one number three. Well, you number four. So if you know, let me know, you know. I don't know. I'm new to this. All I know is that I picked out four 
that looked really cool. So we got number one over here, number two over there, number three over there, and number four up there. And this one right here is the male. Number one is the male. If you so, if you know what um what those are, uh, the leopards. Give me a shout out. I'd love to know. Um, I want to give a shout out to my friend Jeff's kids. Their their, their names are Jake and Joey. Um, yeah, I've known your father for years. Their father Jeff. He's he's the one that keeps on. He's the one that got me into. Uh, Got me to decide I wanted these uh, leopard geckos, and then I saw a good deal, so I grabbed a lot. Um, good guy, did saltwater stuff with him years and years ago. Um, and that's it. So please subscribe, share, like, comment, and um, yeah, man, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I got dmjreptiles.com that I'm working on. And, you know, I'm really busy. But um, between full time, three kids, I got my rats, I got my mice, I got my cresses, I got my ball pythons, I got my dubia. I got, I got a lot of stuff going on. So uh, thanks for watching. And Jeff and Joe, you be good, all right? You listen to your father. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Later, guys.